Hello everyone and welcome to Bama's Crochet Creations. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to replace a block um, that perhaps you may have made in your project that doesn't belong there or that you just don't like it there. Uh, sometimes patterns have mistakes in them and this is a way to correct that if you don't notice it prior to crocheting. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to take um, or first I'm going to get everything organized. I have four uh, uh, stitch markers here. I have a fifth one here. I have the yarn that I need to actually make that correction from white to yellow. And I also have um, the needle ready to go with um, the uh, yarn that's going to go around. So first off, what I did was when I did the uh, sample that I posted on my site was I want to make note of the direction of the stitches. Um, you can clearly tell what they are. This is up, this is up, this is up, this is up. So this one would be across. But just for um, making things a little bit easier, I'm just going to put a stitch marker there to take note of that uh, direction. That's just for my benefit. I'm sure you can do whatever um, works for you. Then what I need to do is I need to remove this. So to remove this without damaging these here, I'm going to use stitch markers and I'm going to put them through all of the loops here. I'm hoping that you'll be able to see this. Um, all right, so what I'm going to do is stretch that out a bit and then I'm going to put this all um, through here. And this is just going to help me to keep track of what needs to go where. And then this top one goes through the yellow. I don't really think I need this blue one here, but I've put them in all four sides anyway. So then I'm going to do the yellow, making sure that I get every loop for the stitches that are on there. That's going to prove very relevant um, in when you're crocheting that, that block or replacing that block. Here. All right, so I've got all of the loops there, and that kind of holds that block into place. And then I'm going to do the bottom one here, and I've just used four different colors to make it a little bit easier. Okay, here. There, and again, because here and here we're going to be removing these, we want to keep make sure that the yellow is, is staying together. Um, there isn't anything that I need to do here, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to catch this little uh, part of the stitch here. So this would cause an error, would cause things to fray if I didn't. So I'm going to pick that back up. This is going to go into here. And like I said, this ensures that the complete block um, or the complete blocks around it are uh, joined together. All right, you don't need one here. I think I put one when I originally tried this as a sample. So there you go. Um, I hope you can see that. That's not the greatest for imaging, but there we go. So now what I'm gonna do is rather than uh, trying to take it apart and fray it, I'm actually just gonna cut it and uh, making sure I only catch the white um, to cut it out, not any of the yellow. And I see the stitches underneath. And again, please make sure you do not cut any of the safe ones that are there or else you'll end up having to replace perhaps a couple of more uh, blocks that were done. All right, so I'm going to cut it here. This is actually quite simple to do. Doing it uh, slowly or in this fashion actually makes it a little bit more difficult. Um, but do what works for you, or as the saying goes, you do you. And go from there. This is hopefully just a guide. And then once we've removed all of the white, excuse me here, we want to make sure that we haven't damaged any of the um, yellow there. So we want to ensure that we have a simple um, square there. So now this is protected here. The reason I had this needle with the thread is what you can do if you like is to frame the block that you're replacing um, before you take out the um, 
the stitch markers is you can actually frame it with this yellow stitch. So as I get a little bit better with this, I will definitely make another video. This is just, um, I, I got a lot of private messages from people that said they wanted to see this. So this is really helpful. Do this. And this is the one that's knotted in there. Now, what I've noticed is because I've caught the, the white here, this blue is going to come out, which is fine because it is, um, it's got a side stitch there, or side um, chain. There we go. So the blue should have stayed in here, so we haven't pulled it too tight. We've got this. It should actually be part of this stitch here. And it catches all of the loops to ensure that we catch them as we go. I'm sorry, I should find some better things to do or to grab. Okay. So right now what we have is we have the stitches to join in here. And again, this block is going to go from left to right this way. So we need to ensure that we're going to catch everything uh, with the blocks going this way and then to attach it here. Okay, so now I have the um, blue stitch marker, the pink stitch marker. Those are the stitches we want to make sure don't come out. This is the directional stitch marker that is just telling me in which direction that block needs to go. So what I'm going to do is I am going to add the thread through here and through the two that this blue one is catching. I'm going to actually take this out and we're going to see that that can go there. I'm going to pull that through this way. Nice and little snug in there for a minute. And then I'm going to do the same thing through everything that the pink stitch marker is doing. And there we go. Okay. Now we can remove the stitch markers. Those are going to be a little bit of an instruction when you're trying to crochet. And now what we have is a square that there we go. And we're going to pull. We have enough there to weave in. And now what we can do is we can do, I did this one in double crochet instead of the half double crochet just for uh, to facilitate or to make it a little bit easier to see. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to crochet the uh, double crochets that I require there. Okay, so what I've done is I have the long side on the right here and this is going to be to weave in or to attach. So I'm going to turn it a little bit. Now again, the directional of this is telling me this needs to go this way. So I'm going to go here. I'm going to uh, chain stitch in here and we're or sorry, slip stitch in there. And then we're going to do the chain three for the double crochet. And then I'm going to make the three double crochets that I require. So we have one, two, And the three. So what I have is I have the blocks that are completed, or the block that is completed. Now it's just a matter of attaching the block. So there's a couple different things that you can do. I am going to slip this this slip stitch this together so it joins here, just in one of the hooks, or one of the loops there, and then um, that is attached there. So pull that to fit tight now. So what we do is we have our block. Now it's just going to be a matter of joining it together. Now this is working well because I'm joining 
the same color. So you're going to have some options when it comes to how you weave it together. Um, you might not have all of those options, so just be careful when you're weaving it together. And then I'm going to take this here because I want to join this corner. So this corner is loose, so I want to let me join that together there. And that's in there snug. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass this through here. And this is just for security, so it's not um, a loose block. I'm going to attach it there like this. And then attach it. I'm actually going to put it through this as well. And that's where we joined it. And there we go. There is the block. It's secure. Looks like the it goes in the, the correct pattern in the way of direction. Um, you have the gaps where you'd normally have it, same as you have in all the other ones. And there you go. So it might be a little frustrating to do um, at the beginning. Uh, please be patient. Um, again, that's be patient with yourself. You're doing this just for yourself. Um, so it does work out. I hope this video is helpful. Um, I may make it again as I get more practice with this, but I'm hoping I don't need to get practice with it. That means I've made an error on my pattern or in my work. So there you go. I'll stretch that out for you to see. If you have any questions, uh, please message me anytime on um, Messenger or um, via this post. Thanks. Have a great day. This has been Bama from Bama's Crochet Creations. Take care.